shit goes out the way. Goes the dynamite. And that's one of the best things to say into a good mic like this. And boom, goes the dynamite. <laughs> yeah. He passes it to the guy, lines up, and boom, goes the dynamite. <laughs> The funniest shit, dude. <laughs> if it keeps uh, swinging away from you, tighten this piece right here. This piece. Tighten that piece. Oh. And you put this piece right where you need it. That's right. Put one thing into the other thing. And then if like you push it, it should <laughs> swing away. And then it should come back pretty much. <laughs> Trying out sound dynamics. How's the sound in your car, folks? <laughs> 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 no, the best way to know about sound, sound dynamics is just play Return to Innocence by Inya. <laughs> and everyone just turned us off. Right? Yeah, <laughs> That's like, the end I quit. of our episode. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you turn off the podcast? Cry! <laughs> <laughs> I want to say I was listening to our Captain Ron uh, episode of the way here, and uh, you had a great joke at the beginning of that where you were talking about how you would go down to the house of the keys and you did Irish car bombs and uh, white Russians, and you're like, yeah, we were in our big Lebowski era, and Jay goes, no, you were in your milk era. Too, for sure. <laughs> He's like, that's a lot of dairy and yeah. alcohol. Going around, it's although, like, yeah, yeah, Bailey's is ba- I guess cream, dairy, creamy Bailey's, <laughs> mm, creamy. This is close as you can get to Bailey's, but jazz, dude. Wet. That that group chat where they just kept trying to get the AI thing to draw old Greg, yes, it got really annoying. <laughs> really dude, what is in the ring? Uh, oh, it's a weapon, never mind. Oh. It's a two by four. <laughs> it looked like there was just like some messed up pixels. I'm like, is this TV broken? Here why comes, does, why does Steve Austin's arm look like a dildo? <laughs> Here comes the lumberjack <laughs> bringing his work. His work. Oh, but I was telling all the people I saw Jim on Duggan. Sunday, you know, mm-hmm. for, about the podcast. And I had to be like, hey, just so you know, it's just three idiots sitting around talking. <laughs> just, so I let my tongue go a little bit. And I don't so, hold back. <laughs> just, just so you know, this show is not what you would label family friendly. Yeah, it's not <laughs> a PG. Listen, I know we see each other at church a lot, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I also got the I'll hit show. You, I'll hit you with an F-bomb. <laughs> but I also know that. You know, we're not perfect. Trace, yeah. <laughs> the Lord abides. <laughs> and he forgives. The Jesus abides. <laughs> That's right. The dude abides. No, no one Fs with the Jesus. No one, no one no fucks one. with the Jesus. <laughs> with the G- dude, that's the funniest part. Where he's like, uh, I, will, Lebowski, I will take this gun, shove it up your ass, turn it sideways and pull the trigger until it goes <laughs> click. Jesus. <laughs> that's right. No one fucks with the Jesus. <laughs> is that where the rock got it? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> what is what does he say that I, I was saying this the other day out to, to my daughter because right? I was like, You're out of your league or something. Uh, you're out of your element, Donnie. You're out of your element, yeah, you're Donnie. Out of your element, you're out of your element, Donnie. <laughs> Die. I thought you were talking about The Rock. I what does like, this oh, have I to do it. with Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> you're out of your realm. Okay. Well, hey, welcome back. That's yeah. like your opinion, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. Another episode of Stoutal Land. <laughs> uh, yeah. I really like that one episode where we, we sang the intro to uh, uh, DuckTales. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was Captain Ron. I was was again, it Captain yes. Ron? That was solid that was two as well. Two weeks ago. You had your milk era and your... <laughs> And then our DuckTales intro. Those awesome. are those are awesome when they when we just break into song. It yeah. just comes naturally. Like at the beginning of this when we did it in yeah. Oh, yeah. But in is tough because everybody hears it differently. Yeah. It's like slightly differently. It's because it's like ancient Tibetan chanting. Mm-hmm. It's ancient. It's something he made up in his car on the way to the studio. It's like, <laughs> well, everybody everybody always thinks that it's Native American yeah. chanting, and it's I think the bad. only reason they think that is because, is because of, of Man of the House. <laughs> you talked about that in the sh- in the show too. Uh, I oh, couldn't did, agree yeah. more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, I couldn't agree with that more. Have you seen all the debate lately about what Michael Jackson said in Mama Say Mama Sa? Mama isn't, it, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm gonna say one more time. I'm not gonna. Okay, stop. you want to hear okay. what it really is? It's nothing. It's yes. Mama Say Mama Sa Mama Sa. It's uh, yeah. like okay. nothing. It's gibberish. And they have the background singers, and they say like it. What it exactly? What it sounds like is, is what, what it is. Yeah, and. Uh, Michael even said when they were recording it, he's like, "People forever will debate about what this says." Zed, and when you look be- at the like the jacket, 
for the CD. Yeah. It's Mama Say, Mama Sa, Musa, Musa. But people <laughs> yeah. are like, and it has all these clips together things. You may have sent this to us. I think I did with this comedian based like half of his 10 minutes off of like, you thought he was saying Mama Say, Mama. What the hell is Mama Say, Mama Sa, Mama Sa? <laughs> he's saying, I'm going to say it one more time and knock Like he based, yeah. it's his whole bit and he's wrong. Yeah. Like, the whole thing he's is wrong. wrong. Like, and he's from that. He's, he's an older dude. Hey. Like, that's like, your opinion, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, I think it was Fred, our buddy that that was talking about the the that blue man. Like, oh, um, blue. If I were yeah. green, I would. But all it is is I would do, I would die. Yeah, like uh, blue, da, I would But it sounds that. so good if you say, <laughs> yeah. "I'm blue." If I was green, I would die. If <laughs> yeah. I was green, no, I, I would die. I remember yeah. that debate from elementary school like vividly. <laughs> Yes, like I never heard that, that before. People being upset, yeah. like people getting in fights. And has oh, anyone ever like? Enough. Here's a story. Has anyone ever reversed, unreversed, uh, Missy Elliott's thing? The French champ. Yeah. Or does she actually say it? I don't. No, I don't. I just. I just. Has anyone done that yet? Have you yeah. seen it? Where that? Where she goes, It's Nuren if you didn't find yet. <laughs> I don't enough. listen. I don't listen to her enough, Missy Elliott. Oh, really? <laughs> Dude, she's on, a badass, though. That is on Sorry. my uh, it's on give my her podcast. I'm not saying she's Spotify not bad. Playlist. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not saying. No, I'm she saying, got to give her 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 credit. Oh yeah, she's a badass. Her, she's amazing. Her floor is. Dude, and Eminem put out a new album. Yeah, and it's like the death of Slim the death Shady. Of Slim Shady. Yeah, yeah. some of that. Do you Probably think it's his last one? Old. Dude, it's amazing to see how like he's what fifty five now or something, something like, like that. that. Like, he, and he still looks like what thirty nine. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say like he doesn't age. That's insane. Yeah, His but he, I love married. don't kill us. Love the fact <laughs> that he's like everybody's getting canceled, <clears throat> and he if you listen go listen to the album, he just says he goes full Eminem and just says whatever the fuck he wants to say. <laughs> does it matter at all? He does not care. He does not pull punches. He's like, fuck it. I'm saying it. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. You gotta appreciate it. Hell yeah. In some way. I do. And then he just makes fun of it with those skits like, hey, Em, it's Paul. Um, You're fucked. That's the segue. <laughs> That's it. Speaking of skits, we're doing an SNL That's skit right. turned movie, baby. That's right. <laughs> this is this was the Lorne Michaels cash money run <laughs> when they were just like any little skit that did really well, like they just they well, ran this with was it. Like this was up. probably if not the golden age of SNL, it's yeah. like it's like right off of oh, the golden. Right yeah. There. Yeah. This yeah. is definitely yes. Yeah, because that's Aykroyd when Aykroyd and all them were on the Dan show. Dan Aykroyd, Farley, Sandler. Eddie Murphy didn't weren't they all on it like together for a little while? I don't I, I don't know. It I was think before Steven, my time really. I think Spade, Steve Martin was off. Spade, yeah. Spade Tim Meadows. Tim Meadows is who's was in the it. who's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel really bad. Well, Rock, Chris Rock, but there was there was the other black guy. Eddie Murphy? No. Tim, Tim Meadows. Is it Tim Meadows? Maybe yeah, yeah I think But yeah. wasn't Tim Meadows on Yeah, I think it was Tim Meadows that I'm thinking he of. He wasn't on Mad T V? No, uh, didn't he Keegan, do the lady? Michael, Keegan Michael Keel. Uh, didn't he do the ladies' man? Wasn't that on Mad TV? No, the ladies' man is, is at SNL. Uh, okay. Yeah, get some Cavatier. Dude, the, <laughs> when, the, the, I have it on, like, on a CD somewhere, like a comedy, you know, when you used to burn CDs. Yeah, yeah. Lime and wire. it's like, uh, <laughs> just what is it? your family computer. I brought, uh, yeah, for sure, <laughs> dude. Porn was not the enemy. LimeWire was Lime the enemy. LimeWire killed more computers. <laughs> but, uh, what was it? Um, where he's like, yes, I got shot with one of the nine guns that I bring to Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> like, all this weird stuff that the ladies there would say. Yeah. And then he's like, hello. Oh, hi. Yes, ladies, man. Oh, it's a lady. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what's his name was on there, too? Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Was he in this movie? No. No, no he he's just talking about, like, the time like, frame. Like, oh, just time the time frame. of this. Okay, yeah. Like, Tina, we got- like, and then you let into, like, Tina Fey, <laughs> Fallon. And that's when that's you when lost it, me. That's oh. when it turned like silver, and now it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is hard to. There's been a couple of good. Skits. Well, there always is. The weekend update stuff is usually and the weekend good. updates. Is there's like so sprinkled good. in in yeah. there. Like and, those, but it's the, like Fallon, where you where can the, just watch YouTube and they put the, two, the shit out. In where front the two of you. guys yeah. always make each other tell racist jokes. Yes, because they write or each other's stuff. Just terrible jokes. Just terrible jokes. Bill Hader was really good on. Bill Hader was good. It was a part of the good era. Yes, 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 yes. And what's his name? Um. Par- oh, Chris man. Parnell. Chris Parnell. Yes. Well, yeah. Hater was part of the because like, he was with Sandberg. Here's yeah. a few good p- parts. Like, 
you can't say it was really good. Well, I, I he, couldn't sit there and watch a whole damn episode of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> well, Hater used to break character all the time, and then it became everybody trying to get Bill Hader to break character. You know, we did Hudson Hawk, and I can totally bring this up. Is uh, I think it was when he did Hudson Hawk, or maybe it was when he had um, his album out. Uh, Bruce Willis yeah. did the open like he was the host, and his cold open, he comes out, and he's like playing the harmonica. Yes. Do you see this? And then, yeah, I then saw next this. next yeah. week... <laughs> Uh, Rick Moranis is on yeah. <laughs> and he comes out and he takes like the guy's guitar and then he goes over and like the saxophone is like holds the saxophone and he's like pretending to play the guitar and blow the saxophone at the same time <laughs> and then like a, the other guy comes over with like the freaking tambourine and he's like banging the tambourine it's like dude he, he roasts yes. Bruce Willis and then he goes so down the hall hard. and he like operates the camera and <laughs> like, Rick so Moranis is funny, awesome dude. so good dude, yeah. he's, he's, he's a legend man and for what he did for his family like that dude's a legend yeah that dude is a is a, a badass so today we're talking about Conids. Hell yeah. Uh, we uh, uh, yeah, I don't think we've said it in 10 minutes. We've <laughs> been dancing around and it's Conids. 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 Talking about covering Conids. 93, the, man. Dan Aykroyd's brainchild. Yeah. Um, you know, with the help of Lauren Michaels and those guys, I'm sure. But apparently I heard that he was uh, smoking that wacky tobacco <laughs> and uh, he was inspired by the Easter Island heads. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. He decided right. to go with. But um, one thing I, I got to say off the bat is I love how in this movie, like, in the beginning, it's so weird. Yeah. Like when they first crash. Yeah. And they're so weird and so uncomfortable. And the, how they with... Um, Sinbad? What's the... Uh, Kramer's... Michael oh, Richards? Yeah. yeah, Mike Richards. Mike yeah. Richards is, is there. And he plays a great character in the movie where he's like this confused like knight uh, person at a hotel clerk. where he's like, I don't know. You'd have to ask the day guy. He <laughs> knows this area better. Like he's so confused. Yeah. Like what the hell is going on right yeah, now? I never remembered them having like, like the power of Mjolnir in their head. Yeah. <laughs> like, they have like, like electronic, like, yeah. like a tron system in their foreheads. Yeah. Yeah. Nor they could just like zap stuff. Yeah. Like she zaps the soda machine to get all the money out of it. But that's yeah. the beauty though. It's all made up. Who we cares? Will, we will pay with this round metal tinder. <laughs> she like lays like all a the shitload of quarters, and this, he's like, "Yeah, that'll do. This will be fine. This will be yeah. This will be fine." But I it, like yeah. he's <laughs> so un, they, they're so uncomfortable and so awkward. And then he says to her, "Like, okay, well, we've got to figure out how to. We will blend in contact <laughs> Romulac. Yeah, and." We will blend in in the meantime. And from then forward, the movie, like, they start to fit more into society as much as they possibly can, being cone aliens heads. and coneheads <laughs> and weird. But from then on, like, and it was even a, a, a bit on the, the, the original SNL skits yeah. where they're obviously aliens. Yes. They're obviously doing this super weird shit. Yes. And nobody reacts to any of it. Like in a normal way. Yeah. Except no, Spade they just, and... Uh, and well, yeah, the, I can't remember that guy's name the, ever. F, the agent. Yeah. yeah the, 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 the head the homeland, of... The, the homeland homeland Customs he's like and Border ice Protection. Agent. Yes, yeah. yes. He's ICE. That's, that's his mm-hmm. job. But yeah, but it, only like... He's only because of the jobs. Yeah. <laughs> but it starts... So it starts that they crash land and they go and they... they in the water. They crash land in the water and they, they find a hotel and yeah. Uh, but I love it. because like... And they're in like the big... Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but they're in like the big alien cape. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like they're like... Uh, yeah, if, if this person walked into your your office you'd be like that's definitely is it Halloween? Like, not like an alien like from a different planet like <laughs> alien that is who that person is like what like not like they're in the country illegally yes yeah, <laughs> not that they're in the country illegally is that they're on the planet illegally <laughs> but yeah so they, and what I loved about it was like there's just this immediate acceptance of them because every every person he works for is like yeah I love him like Conan oh yeah he's he's amazing like he does all this he's great my work. hardest worker yeah <laughs> does all this great work he's always clean he's, like, on, he's time. on time yeah <laughs> And it's Sinbad running the laundry shop, but like everywhere they go, like they take things apart. Like I don't know if you notice that. Like every every they're every looking, electronic, they're yeah, taking they're looking everything for apart. pieces to create the the phone, the, yeah, the face phone, yeah. So they could ET phone home it. So the first like the first I, half an hour of this movie is just them getting established. They go from like job to job, living like in a trailer behind Sinbad's coin laundry or repair shop. Like I wasn't sure what yeah, he's it was. A, he's a he's a. Uh, electronic repairman. Okay, yeah, and he sits back there, and they make a giant phone to call 
uh, their home planet. That you put your face in. Yes, you put yeah. your whole face. And you go into the void. <laughs> so weird. And you and you talk to Phil Hartman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do they say? It's like, yes, like we'll send a rescue vessel in seven car plaques or something, something like, like that. that. Seven floors. So they That's never, the hardest thing is trying to make up. But, but yeah. the way they react is like, what? Yes. Like, like seven? how long? Yeah, it's like seven. What's, what's seven that? Like par- 18, par- 18 human years. Or I have something no idea. Like yeah, but I, they never said. I was like, I was yeah. waiting for it because for I'm it to just make judging sense. on the age of the daughter. Yeah, that's what I was. I, yeah, you kind of have to read into it a little yeah. bit because they they eventually do have a kid because she says she's like I am with I am with the child. I am with, with young one. I am with the only. <laughs> yes, the way they phrase stuff mm-hmm. is so funny. Dude, when her water breaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they're always talking like they're robots. <laughs> like, the we must, dude, oh. and it like pours out the thing and goes down the stairs. Yeah. And, yes, and they still, when they walk away, they're in like that much water. Yes, they're, they're like, like three inches of water. water. Yes, yeah. yes, mm-hmm. it's so. But, no, it's so I do good. love. It's a recurring bit in the in the movie that you hear for the first time in Sinbad's shop, where he walks up and he's like, "It is twelve p.m. It is time for consumption of mass, mass quantity. quantities." Mm-hmm. Yes, it's his favorite thing. Mm-hmm. The eating in this, I, I, I seeing every time there's a plate of food and the way he just that shoves like everything. It in there. I mean, this you had to make him. Sick. Well, he's got like nine rows of teeth. So. Yeah, but like at Dan yeah, Aykroyd downing like downing all this food for one shot because well, it's then, three or four of everything mm-hmm. and then there's the shot sick, where dude. he smokes the entire pack of cigarettes yes because he doesn't want to call home and tell them that he crashed <laughs> <laughs> no but like i mean did you read anything on that was like did did he in, did that, it, not that nothing that I nothing came find. up with that because yeah. like man dude, i was like that's so much food man. some it, there wasn't a ton of like information like that out there the the closest thing that i found like that was dan Aykroyd when when the when the daughter is born and they, it cuts to the montage of like her growing up yeah and them doing their thing and becoming more part of society um it shows her as like a a child yeah. with the cone head oh yeah and um that's dan Aykroyd's daughter that's his actual daughter yeah oh, man. she had come to set and she thought like the the whole cone head look was funny and she wanted like a cone head for herself and he got her the part in the movie as playing like her his you know the daughter oh, like when oh. they first bring her home or whatever well yeah when she yeah. it's like doing the montage yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. taking you through her like growing up um when it shows the like you know her the head, young kid her head gets like more proportionate <laughs> <laughs> well then when, the, the, the actress that was in this is in like days days and confused and she's only in a few movies but even like with a cone head, yeah, like you're pretty. Like, so oh, pretty. You're a very pretty woman. Yeah. <laughs> like you're not, you're not Fulton Farley you're at all. Very you're pretty. Like, I get yeah, it. <laughs> for sure. Like you're gorgeous. Like yeah. it's pretty crazy. Well, she, uh, I thought it was great how they did like that classic like teenage thing. Like they made this enormous mass quantities of food. Yeah, and they and it's breakfast, and she comes down, and they they're describing to it, and they have such a really hilarious Would way. Would you like pop tarts? Yes, pop tarts or uh, what is it? Embryo uh, chicken embryos, really chicken embryos, <laughs> <Yes>. or a <laughs> consolidated meat disc yes. <laughs> i love the she way goes, they talk she goes no i think i'll just have some tang and he goes ah the drink the astronauts took to the moon <laughs> astronauts to the moon <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear so you want to hear a side quest story yeah go you for just it. made me think of go. so one time i'm hanging out with one of my really really good friends and um he like you do like uh, like, like you, you do. do like you do <laughs> and, and you know having some beers like, like you, do. you do uh but actually i wasn't drinking but um <laughs> he I, I was looking at instagram and i'm like oh, let's see look at this like it's like anti-moon landing stuff you know like people like oh we never went to the moon it was a, it was a yeah. setup it was a fake yeah. and he's he's like oh, you believe that oh, i'm like no dude it's just like showed up on Instagram. It's fun to look at. We just showed up on Instagram. Yeah. Don't judge me for my feed. Yeah, like, (laughs) I don't control my algorithm. Yeah. And uh, he's like, "Uh, oh, man. So I start, like, just scrolling and more and more of these videos because now we're talking about it. Right. So it starts popping up. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like, well, we never landed on the moon. And he's getting, like, really upset. Really. Like, really upset. (laughs) Visibly upset. Yeah. And so now... It's like I'm sorry. It's like it's we're siblings, funny. like we're children. Now you have and to. Now he's doing it on purpose. I'm fucking with you. Yeah. Yes. A hundred percent. Yes. And I'm like, oh yeah, well look at this. And it's like a video of Buzz Aldrin and it's all these clips where he's like, Yeah, well, we never went to the moon. Oh, and they're yeah. like, Oh, what was it like on the moon? He's like, I don't know, because we were never there. Oh yeah. wow. And like or it's a uh, they've it's not, were, Yeah, it's 
Yeah, because Neil Armstrong was the first to step on it. Buzz Aldrin was the second. Yeah. So it's Buzz. But it's just so funny because it's like these these are videos are clipped in a certain way. And, yeah. you know, he could be being sarcastic or whatever. You, like, it's yeah. easy to do that kind of thing. Yeah. And, dude, he's getting so <laughs> pissed off. <laughs> and he gets up and he, like, goes to the bathroom and his wife's in there. And I'm like, you know. And she goes, I know you're screwing with him. And I'm like, I know. And the funny part is was for a long time in the beginning i was like dude i don't like i don't i don't i'm not yes. saying that yeah like why are you getting so upset you're being unreasonable and since he kept going and i kept trying like for like minutes yeah. i kept trying to like dude what are you talking like shut up you're an idiot and then so finally i'm like all right fine if you're not gonna let it go then i'm gonna hammer it home <laughs> and so yeah. that was like months ago and still we'll get together now and pissed. and and i'll just like slip in conversation like yeah well we never went to the moon well, that's a good thing we never went there yeah yeah <laughs> and he gets so angry it's yeah, so funny oh, that's, not man. that's not how a microwave works <laughs> what's uh have you seen have you seen the thing uh where mm-hmm. they found out that you've seen the thing as you <laughs> movie as you do uh the, spit on yourself <laughs> as you do. To get it out. You just hock to it a little bit. Oh, <laughs> you gotta spit on that thing. Uh, he's doing the thing from the oh, story. He's got it. <laughs> uh, now, where they made um, uh, Jackson Pollock, uh, the CIA made Jackson Pollock famous just to pick up piss off the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. If you say this, so like no. people, so Jackson Pollock is a, for people who don't know, is a is an abstract painter, and he does this thing where he basically throws he splatter paint, paints. splatter paint on huge canvases, right? And he got really famous and really popular uh, during what they called the modern art, you know, revolution. And it the the story is that the CIA bought all his paintings and. It like paid millions of dollars to promote him as the new up and coming amazing artist just to piss off the Russians who were still very uh, all about uh, classical training and art and being very specific about the techniques and the That's way funny. they paint and the styles and what they paint and they did it just I wonder what them off. I wonder what kind of stuff like that is true out of the Cold War I know it was like yeah just to embarrass you just to embarrass us just like to make what them did upset. they do what did we do yeah like what yeah. kind of bullshit Mr. Well, Gorbachev tear down, tear down the well, a lot, and a lot of that you can you can google Reagan smash <laughs> <laughs> you can find you can google a lot of stuff we're getting way deep but oh, we can spiral coneheads brings this out because yeah, yeah, yeah. coneheads is great because they because of the jokes they make yeah. about um, like uh humans advancements and like right. what they're yeah. afraid of and what we're not afraid <laughs> like of. when they when they're <laughs> the guys pretend to be jehovah's witness and they're like none of the human reparee would <laughs> be viable <laughs> actually some not now yeah <laughs> yes or no she's laying down in bed in the first scene she's laying yeah. in the bed and she's reading the bible out in the <laughs> hotel laughing ah, the turns of page ah. <laughs> the gideon bible yes, the gideon <laughs> one it's hysterical dude the jokes they decided to make with this one but so okay so they yeah they're just do they, do they avoiding ever, border patrol do Sorry. they ever explain this the sleep standing up thing it's just how they do it. It's just how what they do. They, it. do. And they it's cut. Funnier. They cut a piece out of the mattress. And, yeah. So well, they fit in like 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 their body shape, like an perfectly. action figure. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So Simbad asked for his social security number. Yes. And we so get that a he can scene. start filing his taxes. So that they don't get in trouble. Yeah. And they call Adam Sandler is like yes, his, like mob. Well, he, he does like the he's the he does like the Tommy Boy joke. Yeah. Where he's like five, seven, three, a. Six, yeah. seven, niner, nine, yeah. niner. Yeah. niner. Did I catch that niner in there? Were you calling from Milwaukee? Was that, that's when Sinbad asked for a social <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His security number. And then he's like, "You don't have one," and he's like, "No." <laughs> he's like, I'm, "I'm an alien." He admits it. He admits it to it. Like, "I'm an alien and on this planet." And then Sinbad's so like, "You're oh, illegal." Man, you're yeah. illegal. It's, illegal. it's so always happened. They do this great scene with with Adam Sandler, who is so surprising in this movie. And it was like, wait. Adams in this? Hold on. There's like 15 people. Yes. It's all the, yeah, it's all the SNL guys. And John Lovitz too. Yeah. There's John a Lovitz lot was of in people. It. it was so funny, dude. It's, uh, but he gives him, he's like, so your new, this is your new name. This is your new, you're Mr. Uh, Dimitri or yeah. De, DeMarco? No, what is it? De something. DeCeo. DeCecchio. It's the C, it's D and it starts with a C. I yeah. can see it in my Somebody head. Somebody look it up. From, but the, he's, from the subtitles. Yeah, <laughs> but like, on. 
he's so perfect. He's so perfect about it. He's like, this is your number. And he immediately like, I'm DiCecchio. And he's like, nice to meet you. See, we're having a great conversation here. Yeah. And he, and just gives Donald me R. DiCecchio. DiCecchio. Which apparently. D-E-C-I-C-C-O. Yeah. And, and I love that. that it, it's so Dicheo. It's so smart because then that name comes up on ice's mm-hmm. radar <laughs> he's because been, it's like the third person who's <laughs> and he's to, been dead he's for dead. Like, <laughs> like 15 years he's or like something not bad like for a guy who died five years ago yes. or something mm-hmm. like yeah. that mm-hmm. and it's so smart because then like okay they they raid his first place and they raid the second place and then the guy gets promoted so they're like oh well you know that's the next guy's problem well, but he goes to driving a cab yeah after that and he wears the like hijab to yeah because the, um he goes sinbad, his employer Evan. sinbad tells him like hey man if you're gonna be here, if you're gonna be doing work, you gotta, you gotta, th- three things. Like you gotta, you want to be your own boss. You never want to sit behind a desk. Yeah, and you gotta get yourself a hat. No, it looked good. <laughs> gotta you gotta cover look the, good. Gotta cover that thing good. up. Yeah, and that's when they're living in the basement. <laughs> yeah, apartment. so he tells him to cover up his head and do something about his teeth. Yeah, yeah, his teeth. Oh my god! And John Levitz is, is the, the de- is the dentist. <laughs> but that was such a weird mm-hmm. part in the movie for me, where it's like. Oh yeah, okay. They're gonna do the teeth, and he's like open wide, and his jaw just like unhinges like a snake. Yes. and there's like nine rows mm-hmm. of teeth, and they're all sharp and pointed. <laughs> yeah, and they, oh, that's that's like exactly sp- what I'm talking about. Where like there's all these weird things that they do, and nobody questions even that. questions it. Yeah, but John Lovitz is just like okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, he sees the money in yes. only the way he can. Like, Dude, yes. okay. my favorite John, John Lovitz right. moment in any movie. Is in the wedding singer when he's like, like Adam Sandler is losing, is like all upset and losing touch. And it cuts over to John Levis and he's standing with the curtain like this, like at the side of the stage. And he's like, he's losing his mind. And I'm reaping all the benefits. And like slowly closes the curtain. It's such a creepy, weird scene. My favorite John Levis is, Are you insane? This is Hitler's oh, yes. car. Yes. <laughs> fair enough. I, yes, oh, fair enough. Even better in my opinion. When he's like, is, yeah, <laughs> when he his <laughs> <laughs> yes. his tongue with yes. the, <laughs> And the old dude's like, <laughs> and, he, and he gets, <laughs> he gets mistaken for Hitler. <laughs> he <tries to laughs> what? He trumps. Oh, yeah, the guy tries to, yeah. He does. He tried yes. to trump him. It's yes. okay. You can say it. He tried to trump him. I didn't him. want to. I didn't want it's all right. But no, no my he favorite. did trump him because he missed. <laughs> yeah, he missed. Uh, from uh, Little Nicky, John Lovitz. Oh, he plays the yeah. pervert who oh, goes yeah. to hell. <laughs> and he's like looking in everywhere. He's like, oh, I can get into this. But then also from uh, Rat Race, is he's, at, he's in a casino and he sneaks away to gamble. And he walks up to a slot machine and he goes, a dollar. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah, know what he's like. He's like uh, oh, a dollar. He walks. He goes to the penny slots or something. So weird. Oh, John Lovitz is a is just a gem in so many movies, and he plays those super weird, like super sleazy. Yeah, I'd sleazy, love to see like a, like a list of all the professions he's played, like oh, yeah. dentist, and all yeah. this other stuff. Yeah, and so yeah, so he, he does a great job teeth. with Bendar's teeth. Yeah, with ben, yeah Beldar's <laughs> teeth. Yes, he he does do a great job with Beldar's. So teeth. he caps his teeth, so he looks at least fairly normal when he smiles. Yeah, because those the way their teeth they were are all shaped, sharp. It's so creepy because they're like a they're like a race that's supposed to dominate other planets. So they're like yeah, apex so predators. They do. Yes, they're mm-hmm. apex. Yes. I, I Beldar versus the Predator. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hilarious if he had a, like a stupid opinion about him. Like that was useless. <laughs> like, like, oh, primitive. <laughs> wow. Mm. Well, dude, there's so many things like that where like where he unhinges his jaw and the teeth and nobody reacts. Like when Jason Alexander, yeah. uh, his neighbor, can't get his lawnmower to start, so he comes over and he asks Beldar to look at it. Yes. So he looks and he takes the spark plug off. Is there petrol? Throws it in his mouth and like <laughs> rattles it around in his mouth puts and then like puts, puts it back up, puts it back in. Oh, and he blows it like with compression yeah, air from his face. <laughs> yeah, like, and, like and, and I love how uh, Jason Alexander's character is obviously wearing a wig. Yeah. And as soon as he like blows with the with, like, like force of like, a, you know, like a like a lawn blower. Yeah. He a just like blower. puts his hand, yeah leaf blower. Yeah. He just puts his hand up and like touches, like holds his wig to his head. <laughs> like, it's it's so funny. Um, well, like and then with like every interaction, they're like they're trying to be as human and, and normal as possible, but they're so honest. Yeah, where like they're like 
oh what lovely ro- like what lovely rose gardens like the, the neighbor and or something and what she's like lovely you're just decorative being, flowers she's like oh just being nice she's like i am, <laughs> I am. Yes. yeah because all the roses are dead yeah. she just got through perhaps, talking about how the roses keep dying what perhaps on saturday you would like to join us for consumption of mass quantities. quantities yes you know travis still no says that i know like all the time i didn't i didn't put two and two together where that came from because i had never seen this movie in its entirety yeah. oh seen, really like, i had seen like clips from snl but i had never like sat down and actually watched the movie well, thanks, thanks to audrey audrey yeah thanks for, for the recommendation, the recommendation out there yeah. for sure um, this one and heavyweights were both like on repeat at uh zach's house when i was growing up oh i saw we, a lot of heavyweights there. i could totally yeah. see heavyweights was well, always on in that one yeah this heavy. trust me is a movie that russell would have like loved though. oh yeah it was, like it. right up his alley loved it so funny dude. yeah love right, this one uh yeah <laughs> the same love that so, guy so, like, <laughs> Oh man, that's like the okay. There's, he's on SNL now. The guy, yes. the guy who started only in Dade. Oh yeah, yeah. He's on uh, SNL. He is on SNL. Dude, the he's Short Kings. Good. The Short Kings. Is that Us, oh, the Short Kings? Have you no, seen that? Yeah, but the one I'm talking Dude. about is they brought him on Weekend Update as like their Spanish correspondent. Yeah, like, that, yeah. he's on Weekend Update. And he yeah. does the whole Short Kings. Oh with yeah, the but guy. there's a bit yes. where he's like, where he's like, baseball season's coming up. He's like, yes, Colin, baseball is back, and he's like, and he's like. But you white guys are so boring. You hit a home run, you put down your bat, you run your bases. When a Dominican hits, it's like an event. He comes out to salsa music. <laughs> he impregnates the first five girls in the yeah. row. But he's like, and when a Dominican hits a home run, he throws his bat to the next county. <laughs> and he pops his chain. And when he comes to the plate, he goes, I'd like to thank my mother and my father and the guy who gave me the ham that one time in the bodega. <laughs> He's he's a great representative so of that funny. part of our culture down yeah. here, man. That's that I, I I thought it was so cool to see because him he was like the only emerge. indade like founder correspondent. They guy. have yeah. a, they have on Bird Road. I just noticed they have this. a studio there. Yeah. There's literally a studio. It's where like an old pawn shop used to be. It's yeah. now the only indade building. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. 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 Well, it's just where they can you know. And good mean, for them. The it's amount, where they have say, a router. Say, <laughs> the amount of input. I say good for them. Yeah, good for them. I say good for I them. Say good. I say good for them. Good for them. Oh <laughs> uh, man! So they, uh, so basically, the ice guy he gets finds promoted them twice. He finds them twice, but he gets promoted. They escape both times. Well, right. he's su- supposed to get promoted. Yeah, and his record is impeccable. And he, I love how like they randomly cut to him out on the boat, like yeah. turn around, <laughs> turn around. <laughs> There's no jobs for you in America. I don't know why he has an accent. No, that's like, the, this, <laughs> the scene where he's like. Uh, where David Spade is like, I think they're from outer space. Yeah. Who's like his assistant. And he's like, right. But the minute they try to work here, they become our problem. Yes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> David Spade is very like sneakily funny in yeah. this movie. Yes. How he, he repeats everything perfectly. Uh, to he's, like, he's like the perfect kiss ass. He's like yes. his character in Tommy Boy before Big Tom dies. Like yes. that's his character. Yeah, like what he did to Big Tom. <laughs> Me like, and he, the nerdery <laughs> will retire I, with our calculator. <laughs> I love how he cuts in front of people to be like, hey, let me see that. Oh, you know, it's just not a bad day. It's not a great day. Yeah. <laughs> and he just immediately like, turns and says, like, oh, sir, this just came for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and then he, he's like, like when they go to the office and he's like, oh, the phone's ringing. He's like, yeah, phone's always ringing. Always <laughs> ringing. No one's like, no, the no, the phone. phone's ringing. He's like, yeah, phone's ringing. He's like, no, the phone. He's like, oh, sorry. Because <laughs> he's just stuck in that like kiss ass at like yes, talking yeah. to him. No, we get later on when he, when they're on the alien planet and he starts he's doing so, the yeah. same thing. It's like, so he's Phil like, Harvin's character I, or the I other speak, guy. I speak and no one listens. No, it's a tough it's a tough job <laughs> just he's like no one pays attention oh my god i love that i loved his character in this and i forget because david oh, david space plays it so well what the hell is going it's on a hoe this? it's oh, a show. what <laughs> this is 90s this was this is this 90s is video go- game this is when the godfather had his his stable of hoes <laughs> for all of us in wrestling for- all the people who probably don't watch our oh, YouTube look. channel and through the ropes, you're an idiot. Uh, behind Trey. <laughs> you're is not, a, it's yeah. not how you win. It's idiot. not how you win. Uh, they're all out. No, no, dropped herself on her face. <laughs> Ro- Ro- okay. Anyway, all right, back, to the, back to the movie. There's a there's a Nintendo. Uh, what is this? WWE. No, WWE mercy. no mercy. No mercy. No mercy. Yeah. So there's a match going yeah. on behind Trey. We put a Royal Rumble on on yeah. one of the teams. Check got, us out on YouTube. Yeah, I got the rundown. Um, Check us out. And doing, Danny DeVito. Yeah, with Danny DeVito. Still, I, I, Captain. Yeah, Maybe that's what we'll call him now. Yeah, <laughs> well, in, honor of, in honor of heavyweights being the first uh, president count for Cap, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I love him just being back behind there. It's funny. He's, just, he's, he's so happy. He's, perfect. Looking. he's just he's encouraging. He's so, anyway, so they have their daughter. 
and they do this great, like you were saying, they do a great they montage. Move to the cul-de-sac. They move to the cul-de-sac, and they, and they do this, you know, where I love it, where he's tossing her up in the old film. And it's just a little bit, a little bit, and then he shoots her. <laughs> She's like in outer and space. He, and he her. waves at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> camera. And it's like three or four seconds. That baby comes right back down. And the way they cut it was so perfect. It's awesome. It was so good. Uh, so she's a high schooler mm-hmm. and it's, it's, you know, it's early nineties, you know, and he's great. a driving instructor and he's a driving instructor, Bal- Balcazar. which I thought they do the scene where they all jump in his car and they, and they're going to the mall mm-hmm. and they started. Sometimes I feel I've got to bam, bam, run away. away. I've got to bam, bam, get away from the pain. You drive <laughs> into the heart of me. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was an eighties song. It could be. Am I? Am I off on that? It doesn't matter. They just love it. They oh, so it's all that matters. Yeah, it's a great song. You can't and then this. Do you only need- love songs from the 2024? <laughs> no, because usually when they from the they're trying to plug in new. Yeah. They're trying, they're to, trying plug to plug, a new plug new yeah, music yeah, in, in these songs and stuff like that. So yeah, I was like, I was like, I thought this was old, like, even in this era. Anyway, so like they go through normal life. It's great though because she knows all the mechanic stuff so his he has his car in the yeah. shop and he's pissed off at chris farley <laughs> because he's like what what do you mean i returned on the the, the agreed upon time and you're not done what do you mean it's not done <laughs> the, yes. the designated time, time coordinates, time coordinates. <laughs> yeah and, and so he's like listen you can go sit or like, like do what he yeah. tells him off you're, uh, goes, i don't I have will, a choice yes, i will comply i will comply <laughs> And he goes all the way and she's like, how easy is it to do realignment? Like <laughs> you have got all the equipment right yeah. here. It should be done in 10 minutes. And Chris Farley's great line. was like, because I was finishing a beer up back. And she's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was very kind of way. Yep. Yeah. Like, yep. All right. Yeah. All right. Sick. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. 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 But yeah. So they start dating. And they go to Subway. Yeah, which I Dude. thought was a great. And he's in like a suit jacket and ties. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, if you look like Chris Farley and you bag the Conehead's daughter, yeah, yeah even with you're the, wearing a suit even jacket. With the and Conehead, talk. she's way gorgeous. out of your league. Way she's at least like too. a seven and a half. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but you know some 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 girls like him fat. Some, some guys chubby like the heavy boys, you know they're not going to cheat on you. Yeah, some back guys, off, Jack. You just We're said all some, heavy some weight. guys like the <laughs> yeah, well, heavy some, boys. Some girls like you Let's do. Say guys, yeah. like you do. As you do, like you do, <laughs> like you do, or as you do? like you do. Okay, it's like you do. Mm-hmm. So they start dating and they do great, you know, sequences where they go to. You but know, they, wait, wait, at the oh, sorry, subway. Keep going. Oh, yeah, subway. Yeah, yeah, you, got you got it. You can't yada yada. Oh yeah, yada subway. She just houses a sandwich. Yes, like just. <laughs> and he's his, like his line. <laughs> Whoa! I haven't I haven't seen a girl that can take a sandwich like that other than my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Thank you." And then he's like, "He's like." She, she goes, "Are you gonna eat that <laughs> to his sandwich?" No, and he's no. like, "No," because he wants to watch her freaking eat like that again. <laughs> and then he's like, "You're really tall." She's like, "Yeah, I've always been tall." Like, no, you, your head's always yeah, been big. <laughs> seriously, because you're not that tall. You're like a normal size. There's lady. such a charm to, to Chris Farley when he plays like these, like the doofy. Oh yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. I I love him in this, and that's one of the saddest things for me to say that we didn't get. It's the to same see as it's Chris the same Farley. as John Candy. Yeah, his yeah. idol. Yeah. Right, and, and I, I if no, I could Belushi, say, Belushi was I right. wish Chris was still around with us so we could see. I wish all of them, yeah, could see an older movie. Also, I would love a Coneheads too, which I wonder if because of his passing, they won't they they won't do because they would have been married or together for this, don't you think? Like for for That's possible a second Coneheads. I mean, they were in high school, so I mean, yeah. she doesn't even act anymore. I you could think. you oh, could have been in a movie. You could write that off pretty easy. Just, <laughs> they broke up in college. All right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he got left somewhere. <laughs> Son-in-law, it. just bring the bring the guy. Home. Home. No, he oh got he got he got skin cancer from the picture from the they picture. take. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, like all this time, they're waiting for the the rescue. Yes. Um, like the ship, ship to come Romulac. and take them back yeah. to Romulac. The and phone. like she goes through all the normal things that like a teen goes through with their parents. Like she puts a fake tattoo on her cone. <laughs> what and, have you done to your And Dan Aykroyd's like, nah. Like he freaks out. <laughs> what have you done to <laughs> your cone? <laughs> yeah, it's just she's a butterfly. Like, relax. It's, it's just a like a fake, sticker. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, nope. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. 
She looks like a common. She, he calls her like a whore, like yeah. a common like, trollop or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like even the mom's like Beldar. Whoa, dude. Yeah, like, take it easy, pump the brakes. <laughs> That's a little too far, but <laughs> easy, Beldar. Yeah. Listen, I know we've been on this planet, but I love the joke that they do when. Uh, so he's at the country club, right? And again, and no one is noticing, but everyone is also noticing because he goes to the showers. And he doesn't have a butt crack. <laughs> yeah, he just has yeah, like two valves, weird, two like, weird nipple yeah. things, like back penises. Yes, and I'm <laughs> yeah, and I'm Ew. assuming the front looks just as weird, dude. It's, it's, it's just I'm teeth. Glad they didn't it's show more me the teeth. Front. Yeah, it's, it's just more, more teeth, teeth in the front. Jesus, and they're and they've been also capped. also capped. That's John why it's just like really. Yeah, <laughs> down there, I'm reaping all the best. <laughs> Well, and I'm reaping all the. Better. All right, Trey. All right, yes. okay. Trey's on a roll. <laughs> this Conan's episode, loving this shit town. a lot. All right, but so, but he's really good at golf. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, played golf on Saturday. <laughs> I'm not really humbly good at golf. sport on the planet. Yeah, I'm not. But it was fun. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, oh, it's always fun. It's just you don't. But you, it's 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 funny how you go out to play golf like. You go out to play and you're like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to be really good. And like, you realize, oh, no, I'm still me. This sucks. So uh, I played with my best friend. I'm not um, Tiger Woods. And his, and his brother that, like, I, I never played golf without his brother there, which is funny. But um, my best friend plays a lot of golf and he's he's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and he can be competitive. So I told him, like, but when he said, he texted like he was going to be in town. And I said, okay, cool. I, and I'm down to play. You have to understand that I don't take this very seriously, <laughs> and I'm very bad. And he was like, "Okay," and I said, "I will try." Yeah, I, like I will give it, but like, just don't like worry about like, you know, we're not gonna don't do let like it a, stress you out. We're not gonna do like a dollar a hole, right? right. I'm not yeah. betting with you, and I'm yeah. not trying to win. I'm no, definitely gonna I, I be do a loser. dollar a hole when I'm out eighteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I lose every hole. Well, I would be out eighteen bucks every time I played golf, <laughs> but. Uh, so we we go out there, and and he was super cool. Like uh, he he was giving me. Uh, pointers that were very helpful and like (laughs) yeah uh at one point i'm sitting in the cart and they're at there in the tee box and his brother's hitting and i'm i'm like texting or something and i hear oh that's a fat juicy one (laughs) and i'm like what i look up and it, it was a par three and he had uh been had dropped it like two feet from the pin oh wow like we i we almost watched the hole in one yeah it was like Dude, that's crazy. But just the that's, that's a, a fat, fat juicy yeah, one. Yeah, one. My one was like hysterically fun. My one good golf story is our buddy Scott. Um, we were playing in a tournament when we were well, not a tournament, but they our travel team had like a fundraiser where like you play golf. That's what they like. You play like a yeah, little right? mini yeah. tournament, and the players got to play. Just like oh, you guys just go out and have fun. Like just play. And we were playing with um, Scott's grandpa. Oh, at really? The time, yeah. yeah. And I'm playing, and he goes, hey, do, do me a favor. He goes, do you hit the ball far in baseball? And I'm like, yeah. And Scott's like, yes. <laughs> He's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah. I want you to take your baseball swing, and at the very end, just turn your wrist as hard as you can. Yeah. And I'm like, what? He's like, just do it. Right before you hit the ball, just turn your wrist as hard as you can. Yep. I was like, okay. Yep. And we're on a par three, and I'm teeing off from the Reds because we're like 11. Yeah. And I... I hit one, and there's a guy driving by, and he goes, "Six shot, kid." <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. That's the coolest thing about golf is like you could you could play so bad, yeah, all day long. And Terribly. I did, I did the other day. I played, <laughs> I played really bad, like it's whatever. Not but it's still fun, whatever. No, and as long as the people around you don't care that you yeah. suck, they like then you can have so much fun. Playing. It's the only time I smoke a cigar is when I'm out there. Oh, okay. that's, that's one of my best. Things. And when you drink. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just well, kidding. <laughs> but, uh, so we, we get to, you know, some hole and I'm in the fairway and, and Aaron, my, my, my best friend comes over and he's like, Hey, so, um, try this and like do this. And like, so he's, cause he studies and like plays a lot. And yeah. he's like trying yeah. to give me some help to, so, because I always have to ask, like, hey, what, what club, what club I do? do I hit? Because I don't... Butter. It's the butter. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, we're going to... It's like 500 yards to the hole, so you're going to want to drive it, okay? Yes. Okay. All right. All right, cool. cool. All right. um, that's and then the big one, right? That's like... Okay. Like, I thought you had two... Because I use Trace clubs. Yeah. I thought you had two woods. You have... Like, a driver and a wood. Yeah. A driver and a hybrid is you all have, I have. You have two drivers and a hybrid 
wood and yeah. i thought you had like a driver and two hybrid no, woods so i'm like oh, i'm gonna use this one they're like this is a driver i'm like never mind it's a, it's oh, a, okay it's <laughs> like so a, stupid because it's, it's because when i went when sports authority was going out of business i went and just bought clubs that i didn't have yeah. and at the time Smart. my driver broke so i bought a backup one <laughs> yeah. and one's like really big and the other one's not so it looks like a three wood i'm but, actually gonna go get new clubs tomorrow um my only golf story is don't i sell your old ones what <laughs> I said don't sell your old one i don't have any right oh. now actually so uh my only golf story i when i was in college in gainesville two doors down for me i was carrying in my golf bag and this guy walked up and he's like hey and i was like oh, oh yes hi uh, hey i'm your neighbor so we talked his name's mike johnson he's actually on espn he's he's a oh shoot he's a he's a commentator golf, uh, commentator he was he did the masters recently so i'm talking to him this was before he got on espn but he he was caddying he's, <laughs> i would hope if he no offense if he was living in gainesville well yeah but so he was caddying for uh <laughs> caddies for george lopez at the time he, on the, on the <laughs> celebrity <laughs> yeah, exactly and uh so we're talking we're hanging out and and he goes yeah well we should go play and i'm not even thinking about it like because mm. he, he never mentioned this so um i go inside and me and my roommate at the time had a uh agreement that we called each other horrible names um, oh. whenever we greet each other and so i open the door and i yell something like whore Mm -hmm. And he responds by calling me bitch, mm -hmm. and he's yelling at the top of his lungs. Mm -hmm. And we, that's just what we did, right? As you do, as you, as do. you do, as, as you do. do. Yeah. So I'd walk mm -hmm. in, whore, and he'd go bitch, mm -hmm. and we'd be like, okay, great, we're home. And uh, so uh, Mike apparently overheard me. Like two days later, he sees me leaving. He's like, what's and up? And he's for? like, hey, bud, hey, uh, listen, tomorrow I got a seven a.m. tea time at the Country Club, like the one of the, the best golf course in mm -hmm. Gainesville. He's like, I, I want you to come with me. We're going to play. And I was like, oh, great. Yeah, sure. Let's go. So we went. Amazing time. Like, he's a professional caddy, and you've never played better golf than you have because he'll look at your swing and he'll be like, why are you doing that, bud? <laughs> and he'll tell hey, you, why do you suck so bad? He'll tell you exactly, exactly what to do, Jada. It's like, you're doing this? No, we need you, to do this. When you, when, when yeah. you play golf, ki kids cry. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's where my story was headed. Was Aaron tells me, like, hey, do like this, do like that, and then boom, and you're just like, eh. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, and it's like right next to the hole. Yes. And, and the best part about my best friend is the energy that he comes with when you hit that yeah. shot because yeah. he's the one where he's like, that's a fat, juicy yeah. bitch. Like, you know, you feel it. Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah he's, so we get to like, go ahead. we get to the third hole you and Mike's like, hard. Mike pulls me up. Like, he's like, hey man, great. And I made par on the first three holes with this mm. guy. And so he's like, hey man, great. You're playing, you're hitting well. You're just doing this. Hey, I want to talk to you something. I heard you the other day yelling at your you girlfriend oh my god my, my wife my, who's my, wife. my wife my, my wife. wife my wife and she's like i heard you and he's like man listen i i not only do i do this but like i want you to be a man of god i want you to be a good you know a good husband and i'm like i'm sorry what what did you hear me say Called he's whore. like he's like, like no he's that's like, my whore bitch yeah. best friend <laughs> yeah no no that's that's a 26 year old man that i'm yelling whore at <laughs> Because I don't know how that started, but those weird things did. Like you do. As, like you do. <laughs> like you do. And so I explained that. He's like, oh, my God. Okay. And he, was, he was okay with me calling my best friend. At the, like the He didn't whore. want you being disrespectful but to your lady. To my lady. Yeah, he's, like, he's like, oh, that's okay. Oh, God has man. a sense of humor. He's like, he's oh, my fucking whore ass guys. best friend, yes. too. I get you there. He's a no, real bitch. He's one of the funniest dudes to hang out with, especially. But now he's on ESPN, man. He's and made I, big and time. Don't, and we don't get to hang out anymore. Yeah, no, now he's too cool. Now he's too cool for me. I'll meet him up there one day. I'll meet up. We'll, we'll get up to that. <laughs> I thought you Instead said four, you yell whore. I thought, yeah. I thought you said I'll beat him up there said, one day. I thought you said whore. You yelled four. Oh, you yelled four. Anyway, so this movie, oh. this Conehead's movie, yeah. he plays golf. He's great at golf, and they bring it back around. Because, Where Chris Farley had like made a move on his daughter, and yeah. it didn't go well. Yes. And Dude, he goes out to this dude's car. <laughs> And he just rips the top off like he's yeah. a can opener, like, like aluminum can. <laughs> yeah, well, like, the best, uh, the best. <laughs> well, that was before they go golfing. Yeah, yeah. And then Farley's out on the golf course as a caddy. <laughs> yeah, he keeps and he trying keeps to talk to him. yelling from like the next hole over, like, "Hey, Mr. Conan! Hey, Hello. Mr. Conan!" Uh, 
<laughs> he's like, yes, hello. Yeah. He's like, I'm sorry, I, I can't. She won't answer my calls. Yeah. I, I love her. He's, he's like, like she's smiling. He's, like, he's like, just like, <laughs> hey. And then he comes over and he's like, hey, I hope you didn't cut your hand when you when you pull the car pull when you broke my roof. <laughs> you pulled the roof like, off thanks. my car. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. uh, no, no, I'm fine, thank you. He's like, oh, okay, great. Um, okay, well, I'm really sorry about the other day. Like it was a mistake, whatever. Yeah. And uh, he's just like whatever. And then the 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 guy that he's caddying for is yeah. a total dick to him. Like, can yeah. I go over here? Which I kind of, you know. Kinda, yeah, <laughs> dude, you're here for me. You yeah, like talk paying for the caddy. George yeah, from Seinfeld. Is yeah, like, he's like he's not he's, a member. Yeah, don't worry about him. He's not a member. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but then uh, yeah, they when they have to swim meet. Yeah, yeah, they're at oh the my she's gosh. a diver. Love, yes, and she's I a love, diver, and she's a kick-ass yeah. diver. And they're like, okay, if we're, we're not going to move on from the uh, one meter diving board to the three mm-hmm. meter diving board. And uh, she's like, Ellen DeGeneres, yeah, is the coach. Cameo, like, two second Drew cameo. Carrie also makes an appearance as the, the passenger in a cab in his cab mm-hmm. in the beginning. Yeah, there's just a bunch of like little. Everyone. There's there's like over fifteen because they all know Lauren. Yeah. I guess well, so. Yeah. yeah, they were all. Well, and they're all friends in with friends each other. Together, yeah, and in, in with Lauren. So she's a diver. Yeah, yeah and they, she tells her like, "Hey, you just want to like do your do your thing, and then enter the water a little splash as possible." <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so they go. And she she goes out there, and the 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 woman in the crowd is says like, "Oh, are you uh, her? You know." Are you her mo- mom and dad? <laughs> oh, I've never seen you at the PTA meetings, or you know, you haven't volunteered for anything. You guys, you know, you should like it would be great. And, oh, okay, like we'll volunteer for some stuff. Yeah, and then she's like going and diving, and she like literally like the girl before like goes, and it's like this this little splash, and everyone's like, oh man, wow. And then the conehead <laughs> girl goes, and there's no splash. It's just like it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, everyone's like freaks out. <laughs> Yeah, then, uh, so good. She's our best chance for winning the state tournament. I yeah. say, yeah. yes, we know. Yes, yes, we <laughs> know. But well, then they go to the football game. Yes, the homecoming it's, like, game. it's like yeah, the homecoming game. Yeah, That's like, it. Yeah, he's in charge. Oh, of. some fireworks are going to be provided by Bendar Kone. Dude, this yeah. is hysterically <laughs> funny it's to one, me. It looks like one bottle rocket. It is yeah. one <laughs> bottle rocket, and the the fire like, marshal is there. Like, and he yeah. comes over, and he's like, uh, "You better be careful there, uh, Belkazar, or whatever." Blah, blah, blah. And yes. He's like, "Okay." And he, uh, it he a milk bottle. puts it in a milk bottle. Yes. <laughs> he lights it. It goes off and it's like beep. <laughs> like you would expect <laughs> from one single bottle rocket. Yeah. And the crowd's like boo. And the guy's like, oh, that was a real great bug And uh it, it's like a freaking slowly. No, he puts he himself. put yeah, he, he yes. pulls sunglasses out and he's like Yeah, let's let's all Yeah, just in right up boom. <laughs> and <laughs> It's like a black hole goes out, <laughs> like like a sun explodes, <laughs> and everybody's and hair is like yeah, <laughs> the explosion's so big it's pushing their hair back. Their cheeks are like kind of moving in the yeah, wind a bit, burned up. <laughs> the fire marshal looks toasty. like he saw God. Yeah, his yeah. hat <laughs> flies off, and then he's like, "Wow!" And then he's he looks over at Bagazar, and he's like, "Cigar." <laughs> <laughs> But then that's when uh, uh, Chris Farley apologizes for his crappy behavior. Yeah, but they apologize like typical like '90s high schoolers. Like it was me. Yeah, yeah, no, No. yeah, Yeah. she likes him too. Yeah, you know she gets that he was just being a hornball. I love it that the way so they reintroduce the CIA. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Go ahead. I don't know. I was following you, but I don't know where that was going. I was like, pop, 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 it's all good. Pop. Uh, <laughs> you do you like break into like a Sinatra song? Yeah. Bop, 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 he went to, bop, he went back bop, bop, to Hudson. Like, <laughs> or, or uh, I don't know if I still have it on the board that flea. Anyways. So the CIA, he's, he's up for another promotion, the ICE guy. And he's, they're like, Hey, you spent, Two hundred fifty thousand dollars trying to find an alien that you never came up. We have to we have to close this right. account. You have to close that before we before can we can promote you. promote you. So they show up at the house and they pros as Mormons yeah. and or Jehovah Witness. Jehovah's like Witness. That. Yeah, yeah, Jehovah Jehovah Witness. Witness. And I thought it was such a good gag because they're trying they're trying to like visually confirm because they'd never seen them before that they're aliens. They're from another planet, right? And he shows up. Balthazar shows up. As Lincoln, yeah, he opens <laughs> the, <laughs> the he opens the door as Lincoln. Yes, because it's, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. They're going, they're going to, Halloween, to a costume yeah. party at the at the country, country club. club, 
And so he opens it and he's he's Lincoln. And so he has the top hat on. And I think she's going as a lipstick. Yeah. It's so lipstick. She has she has also her coat it's is all bright red. red yeah. And she looks like lipstick. Yeah. And so they start having this conversation. He, and he's trying to like trap him. So where were you before you were here? France. France. We are from France. Yeah. And he immediately goes into France with I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, but he's speaking like all this French. Yes. And he's like Just like you just did. Yes. He goes, we British with Apple saying it. It's French. We do have listeners in France, so I hope they uh Hey, we love you. They appreciate it. We love you as listeners as a country. We'll we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Dude, I saw this thing on my way here that we have Google Translate. Yeah. I saw this thing on Instagram when on my way here where it was like uh like a Irish guy and they were like uh, you suck. You like you, you, you colonized us, and he's like, I, I did as like a Northern Ireland. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, uh, uh, he's like, you know, I'm not English, right? <laughs> she's like, oh yeah, well, you, you're all part of the same thing. He's like, you know how many wars we fought? <laughs> and he's like, what are you? And she's like, I'm French. And he goes, why don't you just um like retreat and be quiet like the French always do? <laughs> it's like, oh my. God. Gosh, that was cold. That was harsh. Yeah, that was, but it was it was pretty obvious that he was not English either. So she was kind of a dumb bitch. <laughs> so, yeah. During the anyway. interaction, the big phone rings. Yes, Dude, yeah, <laughs> and the way she like panics, and she's like, this, the, the bell, bell goes out, the phone is for you, and he's like, tell okay. them to call, call. Tell oh. them to call me back at their earliest convenience. Yeah. And then she's like, uh, no, the big phone. And he's like, okay, you must get out. <laughs> the big phone. Yeah. Does that weird air sound. Yes. And they're coming like tonight. Yeah. Right after they're going to they're gonna come after the dance, apparently, to pick them up. Yeah. And that's when the ICE agents, you know, try to try to uh, get them the again yeah. and, and, and infiltrate the house. And they get picked up, too, yeah. and taken back to their home planet, which what was the name of their home planet? Again, it Romulac. Was Romulac. Thank you. Yes. And so they get back there. And immediately you find out that he was sent there on a quest, like to to try to conquer the planet, but he was unsuccessful. No, he was and sent to conquer a planet, and his ship broke, and yeah. he crashed on Earth. Yes, yeah. And so they <laughs> brought him gifts, yes, <laughs> which was just stuff that was in their car. Yeah, because that's what they were running away <laughs> and the on. Chewing yeah. gum is a condom. Yes, uh, dude. That scene gum? at the beginning when he when Simbad asks him, "Hey, you have any more of that gum?" and he's like, "Of course." And hands and he and he's like, "You know what?" Never mind about that go. Whatever. <laughs> and, and he bl- he like goes to blow a bubble. And yes. it's just like, it's the condom. like, condom. like oh god, it's so gross. You're a know. weird guy, Ace. Yeah. <laughs> you got any more of that gun? <laughs> no, and I think you guy. stay out of my personal <laughs> affairs. None of your damn business. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> None of your oh, damn yeah. Business. So it's just stuff that they have in their car yeah. as and gifts. The two ice agents. And the yeah. two ice agents, yes, in which they put these collars on them to make them complacent. Yeah. And I love it that they make them it's like, look, they do tricks and he makes them do backflips. Yes. Well, <laughs> and basically it's working. He's yeah. like, Oh, this pleases me. And then he sees his teeth. Yes. And he's like, Come closer. <laughs> he's like Balth- 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 And then he, he looks at him and he's like what is it? What have you done to your whatever he calls them? Yeah, like, yeah that's where it gets, it gets tough. It gets when they start really using tough. like the alien yeah. languages yeah. and yeah. stuff. So basically, what have you done to your teeth? And he's like, "Oh, I had to do it to fit in on the planet yeah. to, survive. to survive." So he kind of like lets him go there, and then they take him to like the no, the, no, and he's like, "It's treason." Oh, uh, I thought it was later that he that they said that. No, no, the, the no, filing right of the yeah. teeth is yeah. treason, and they take him to basically fight a rancor. Yes, <laughs> yeah. This this stop motion <laughs> like it is well, kind of horrifying the, the main rancor was stop motion the yeah. original rancor no 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 but it's kind of horrifying with like, like thermal vision yes <laughs> it's the predator it is he's fighting hey, the predator. he's brought it back but like the head rolls around like and body parts <laughs> fly around when this thing comes out well and so he's given like a spear and like a toilet paper armor yeah <laughs> it's toilet paper <laughs> armor it's a it's a stick or something and it's of uh, this hook thing yeah He's like I and there's one guy goes. I have studied the uh, the Narflak or something like that, and I know its moves. I will surely like I, I will surely, surely be victorious. Him. Oh, the guy who's fighting him before yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, the guy who goes up yeah. before him, and immediately he dies. And like, <laughs> but Bel- Beldar was like, "Yep." And what does he say? God, it was something like, "Yep, I'll believe it when I see it." Unlikely. Or like, yeah, or like, 
like good luck. It was oh god, that's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna remember it all the way home. Yeah, but anyways, so he yeah. goes up to fight him, and he's like, "Snarkle the Garflack," and he's yeah, "Snarkle the Garflack," <laughs> and he's trying to figure out how to beat him, and then he realizes that he can make a golf club. Yes, <laughs> so he starts thinking. Yeah, because he tries song. to stop it, and, and and it snaps the spearhead yeah. off. Yeah, and then yeah. he realizes like, oh man, it's like got the like bent feature to yeah. it, and he's like, oh man, and it starts like tied up. He's like. <laughs> I uh, got to yeah. get so, away. Yeah. <laughs> so he's trying to distract it. Yeah. Yes. And it turns around to face him and its mouth is wide open and he hits a stone into its throat. <laughs> yes, and chokes and it, it chokes to death. To death. <laughs> God, dude. And the whole time David Spade is just resuming his role yep. as the as, as like the little kiss ass. Yeah, yeah. As like the little whole oily time. kiss ass. Mm-hmm. And like one guy tried to bring up like this little like I don't know. It was like a reading screen. It's not a good day. Not a good day. No, he's 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 kind of off today. It's like, okay, let me get that. And he goes, here you go, sir. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's right. <laughs> like right oh into his God. role on Earth, no problem. In such a perfect way that David Spade can do. Yeah. Like, and then which one do they leave and which one do they take? Do they take. So they, they take he takes the, the head guy and leaves David Spade. Right. So they yeah. He, yeah. because he won, he gets one. Re- he gets one request. Yeah. And he's like, I wish to return to Earth and conquer the planet. And they're like. Okay, and he's like, and I wish to take both ice agents and my family, and they're like, you can have one guest, and he's like, I'll take the one with higher standing, (laughs) (laughs) and so his family is put on his spaceship, yeah, and he basically fools them into thinking that the Earthlings are going to kill them. Warning! Warning. And then he yeah, the the, the Earthlings start shooting, and that they blow his ship, and then he fakes his death. Yeah, he he lands on the planet and fakes his death. You find out that he's like, well, and he's just being a dad now. He's right. Like, and they're like, well, and basically he's like, he will be missed. And David Spade is like, he, he'll be missed. Yeah. Super. <laughs> and what does he say? He's like, super guy. Yeah. Super guy. <laughs> super guy. <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. So then they, so they, they, they exchange the, uh, the ice agents freedom and for a green card. He tells him like, I yeah. want a green card. And yes. he's like, done. Done. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. And that's how it is. I mean, I oh mean, I fell asleep on this one at the very end. And I went, and when I woke up, it was credits. Is that how it ends? Yeah, it's pretty yeah, much. That's, that's pretty they much where it ends. Just right? go back that's to like just, living their go back life. To go back to yeah. Yeah. yeah, you must have just fallen asleep for like a minute. Uh, no, they, okay. he uh, did, Chris Farley comes over to take his daughter to prom. Oh yeah, you didn't oh, see that? Yes, I did not see that this time, okay. but I know that scene. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. that's when that happens. So he takes the picture, and he's like, "You look, you look nice in your uncomfortable traditional garb for this equation <laughs> for this <laughs> occasion." <laughs> Chris Thank Farley's you. do that. Great. Yeah. Thanks. 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 You know where the you know where the weight room is. I'll figure it out. Sure. God, I love yeah. Farley, man. He's I'll so figure funny. it out. Yeah, God, dude, he's such a lovable person, man. Dude, yeah, one day we'll do like Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. We should just do, yeah, we should just do a Farley like kind of marathon mm-hmm. there and just celebrate him <laughs> for sure. Trying to find that. Yeah, I saw that. The <laughs> match is still going. We got yeah. Buchanan, Linda, 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 Linda <laughs> Triple H, McMahon. and Saturn. We got two McMahons in there. Oh my gosh, that's well, awesome. Kind of. Triple H didn't take Stephanie's name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was part of the stimulation. Triple H didn't take <laughs> Hunter Hearst, Hunter Hearst Houndsley McMahon. But I, I still I still love, I think it's my favorite part, like my favorite thing in the movie. I mean, other than the, and I forget the actress's name that plays uh, the wife, but oh, okay. she is just as funny yes. as Dan Aykroyd in the delivery of the lines. That robotic um, way of like talking. yeah like yeah. when they're at the the shopping market like at the supermarket and like she says some <laughs> like super funny stuff in there too eggplant. yeah when she's like grabs she sees the eggplant she's like ah! yeah. when she grabs it and she's like nah. Oh, nah. <laughs> sorry jane uh jane curtain yeah she's awesome yes. she's so good which they used to do dan Eckert and her on snl used to do right. uh heads. well they did conets but they did uh Weekend, weekend update, update yeah. together mm-hmm. and that's where we have that amazing line where she you know makes this big statement and he and she waits for dan Aykroyd's rebuttal and dan dan goes jane you ignorant slut <laughs> <laughs> Super and awesome. starts rattling off and that was in the 70s yeah, dude, dude. like to, to call someone on TV, slut on NBC, live, live, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like that kind of writing just isn't around anymore. Lauren was they probably like, that. Dan, you can't, you can't, can't be right. Well, man, well, already yeah. did. And Belushi, yeah, Belushi has the Japanese uh, samurai. Oh my god, it's so, so funny. funny. And freaking Eddie Murphy, 
Yeah. As, as, uh, as Mr. Robin. Yeah. Mr. Robinson's Mr. neighborhood. Mr. Robinson's neighborhood. This is how we answer the door in my neighborhood. Who do you want? Who is it? Yeah. Who is it? What do you want? <laughs> but like, the I, is my, the I love song. in this movie how they just overlook the weird shit. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the, I, I know I said it before, but like, it's so it's funny like to me. The most accepted movie. Like, yeah. like, like, like we when he's, when he's with Simbad in the beginning, working in his like repair shop. Yeah. And he's moving like insanely fast, yes. fixing all this stuff. And Simbad's just like best guy I ever had. Yeah. They're like, I don't know what it is about the white guys. They show up on time. They work hard. They got a good work ethic. You know, the black guys and Latinos, they're always trying to look for a shortcut and it's they're never Eddie here. Until Griffin, they, Eddie yeah. Griffin in this one as well. Is which, there talking to yeah, him? Yeah, talking to Sinbad. Yeah. That. That's Sinbad. The undercover brother. <laughs> yeah, the undercover brother. Yeah. Well, then, the, oh, so another good gag that she does, that Jane does, uh, as, um, oh, what's her name in this movie? As Mrs. Conehead, uh, is as primat sorry yeah primat primat um is she's vacuuming oh it in her she, mouth and then, <laughs> in her ma- and then at, when she's done she yes. like <laughs> and it like kicks out all that stuff that's what you do in the vacuum cleaner but it sounds like a back yeah. like a real vacuum cleaner For running sure and then she's, the, she makes a good wife she and then she gets concerned because <laughs> uh oh yeah wow as you do <laughs> as, you as do, you as, do. as you'll do well she gets concerned like because one of beldar's uh students driving students Belthazar. makes a move on Belthazar's uh driving oh, student yeah. makes a move on him and like well because the 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 fucking bitch that's married to jason alexander next door tells her like yeah you know this is the third hey. time she's taken this driving course yeah like, you think she, she can was learn. right though yeah well yeah yes but not about balcazar no no, oh, no. no about the girl right about the girl she's trying to but, say like you should be careful because uh, yeah. balcazar yeah. is going to be sleeping it's around and it's like no, beldar Sorry. i think it's balcazar or something i thought uh beldar 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 yeah beldar balcazar is something else though. yes it is that's the name of his driving school i think yes, I that's the, possible it's it's stuck in my head for some reason the whole yeah. episode i've been calling him the wrong name it's like an beldar. asshole anyway so so she she finds it's the out macho man randy savage glasses it is yeah they give oh, you the confidence yeah. of the man oh, brother. snap into a slim gym <laughs> that's pretty good hey that was on he is our go-to on voices point. i do <laughs> voices <laughs> <laughs> so she goes to the store this is one of my favorite bits is she goes to the store and she gets magazines on how to seduce your man cosmopolitan yes. she, she starts reading through it and then he comes home and there's candles everywhere like everywhere and he's everywhere like, he's like what the hell yeah. yeah and then she's and then he reads the note that there's a mai tai and consume goes, ah! alcohol and yes. find me consume alcoholic <laughs> beverage and find me, yes. find me and in the, the living fridge, room it's and like, it's ah. like a fish tank yes it's huge mai tai. mai tai and he's like i shall enjoy it and then he walks away and she he comes in and she's wearing a wig on top of her cone Cone. and she's in this like sexy and he's like welcome to our like our bed chamber <laughs> And then she growls at him and she does this. Well, and they, and they have the house bugged. Yes. And they have the house bugged. Oh, yes. And they're, and they're like, all What's listening going on? And David Spade's like, It sounds like they stepped on a cat. Yes, it is. And they it do the weird thing where she like horrific. throws the like the, wreath over yeah. his yeah, that's, cone. Yeah, that's, that's like how, how they, they do their, how they do their, their stuff. nasty times. Yeah. And then you that's have the scene in bed where she's like, Oh, yeah. Uh, Beldar. <laughs> What would you do if I were to die? Yes. He's like, if my life functions were two C's. Yeah. And he's like, I would uh, cremate you in the ways of what, like whatever. The traditions of our people and stuff. And, and then, then um, w- well, would you, what would you do? Would you find somebody else to share our bed chambers? Yes. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, I would turn off the lights and my draw the shades. Draw the shades. <laughs> I would be depressed until my body fluids coagulated and I would wither and die. Yes. And she's like. Oh, I love you, Baldar. <laughs> you, you made me very happy. I know. Yeah, I know. I, know. I, I wish. Know. I wish to enter my sleep cycle now. Yes, yes. <laughs> and it's instant. They both. <laughs> Yeah, that Instantly, snoring is ridiculous. Yes, dude. Yeah, I had to wonder if like the the girl who grew up on the planet snores like that because that's horrible. God, I hope not. God, dude. Anyways, Codeds, man, 92, 93, 93. It's a great one. I would definitely worth a rewatch. I saw it on Pluto. Pluto, it's TV free. for free. Oh, yeah. Free with ads on Pluto. I mean, yeah. four bucks if not on Amazon. Yeah. Totally worth four bucks to watch it. A couple, and you can watch it for two days. Yeah, dude. Last time I took my kids to the movies, it cost me $75. Holy For all God of us to go dang, to the movies, dude. dude. And I'm like, 
why don't we just wait until this comes out? And then out? they wonder why I like do, movies do. aren't doing that. Why it is that not happening? I do yeah. want to go see Deadpool and Wolverine. Guaranteed, 100% I am. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go see that in, in the theater. Definitely. We should make a, a Nostalgia Land thing. We should do it. Yeah, I'm we should do it at the uh, movies. Taylor, TMF. So we got to work it all out together. Good. Taylor. Taylor, come on. Yep. Bring it in. We're all going. We're going. We're all going. It's happening. We're all going. Did I leave the stone? <laughs> that nope. was my last shirt. <laughs> last week's shirt. <laughs> Oh man, Tyler Walker's out of here. Dude. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for this latest episode of Nostalgia Land. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have a show to do. Um, and we can't thank you enough. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as we enjoy getting together, us three dummies, and talking <laughs> smack. Yep. Um, thank you to all the friends of the show for reaching out. Thanks again, Audrey, for suggesting Coneheads. It was a great watch. Great a recommendation, lot of fun. dude. Yeah. Um, if you have any suggestions in the future, you know, comments are a great way to reach us to let us know. Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers will be coming in the not so distant future. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have you seen that meme? I keep that thing on me and he, it's the... I spit on it. <laughs> I mean, why are you hawk to it on everything, Just bro? Everything what are you, you gay? It's Morphin <laughs> time! <laughs> <laughs> but, this plane's going to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. We really, really re- appreciate everybody who listens. Uh, we do it for you guys. We hope you enjoy it. Uh, check us out on all your streaming platforms, yep. on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, mm. on the Tiki Talkie. Yep. And, <laughs> um, you know, if you if you have anything, please, 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 please comment. Yeah. Check us out on YouTube. See the videos. You can see what we got going on in the backgrounds. You can check out Danny here with us, <laughs> our fourth. Um, He's a guiding light. He is with his Andre the Giant hands. Um, <laughs> we we uh, we just want you to you know check us out on uh, the the shops uh, nostalgialand dot com. No, nostalgialandpodcast.com. Yep. And on Etsy is Nostalgia Land Shop. Nostalgia Land Shop on Etsy. Perfect. Yeah, that's right. You got it. I'm getting it. You nailed it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. You nailed it, buddy. Um, but thanks so much. We really, really, really appreciate it. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. And until next time. I'm Matt. I'm Trey. And I'm Tyler. Cowbunga. <laughs>